Hey everyone, Tyus913 here. Um, I'm doing a really kind of special review. It's a um, pretty big review. And, yep, here it is. And no, it is not just a box with the Franklin Mint on it. It's, the Franklin Mint is an incredibly, is a really, in my opinion, possibly the best maker of um, Americans of any type of models available. And today, this is the first of two. Are we doing the second later? This one is the Peterbilt model 387 tractor with trailer. Now, when I first got this, I thought it was, I didn't understand the American term for tractor, and now I know that tractor in American kind of means truck. This is absolutely brilliant. It looks really, really nice. On the sides of the box, it's got 132 scale. It's all ha it's all hand built. No no machines were involved in making this. Everything is hand built. It looks bloody spectacular. I love it. And on the other side, it shows us. It shows you all the bits in it. So there's a tractor, the trailer, and the roof bit. This is incredibly. This box is incredibly old. Alright, let's get it open. Try not to tear the box, it's pretty old. There we go. Okay. As you can see, it is packaged in quite a lot of styrofoam. Get the box out of the way, and after time, the box kind of does flap about, so I'll put that up there. And then there are these two little Franklin Mint. Pegs. What you want to do, just pull them off, just keeps them together, and then just ca carefully does it, just open these apart. And I'll take out the trailer, because I see a bit here. Let me just seal this together. There we go, and I'll pop that down over here. Then we've got on the other side we've got the roof and the tractor itself. So let me just put all the bits back together again. And just put the bungs back on the top. And use the styrofoam out of the way. Right then, let's all start with the trailer because that's the closest bit. This is an incredibly nice looking trailer. It is metal. It looks absolutely spectacular. Really nice chrome plated on the front. I'm so sorry if it's really bad quality. It's actually got the um, it's got the uh, pneumatic lines. It's the air brake. So when the truck brakes, air goes through to this and activates the brakes on the rear wheels. It's the actual mechanism for that. It's act they are actually springs. So know that they do spring down. It is incredibly nice. You've got a spare fuel tank under there. Uh, wheels with rubber tires, chrome plated everything. It's really nice. On the back, it's chrome plated. Incredibly shiny. Sorry about that. Uh, some ni really good detail. And my words for this on the trailer: total art of supreme. Yeah, total aero supremacy. Actually, it's, t it's total scale. Well, it is, as you can see there, model 307 on there, big American flag, and it's Peterbilt class pays on the back. It is incredibly nice. I do love this a lot. Right. Oh, and it also, I love this. This doesn't work very well, but it does have a this little lever. It does kind of work. These will retract up. Let me just. See if I can do that for you now. So there we go. Sorry if you can't see them very well. They are slowly going down. They only go down. No, they don't go down very far. But at least they do go down. Which is an incredibly nice touch, and they go up as well. I'm so sorry if you can't really see it very well. It is actually very nice. The, they do actually go up and down really slowly, and then they stop around about 
there ish. That's around about as far as I got. And then this piece just clips on there. And there we go, and that's about as far as I go. It's got a little tab, a little metal pin on there to connect it to the truck. Really, really good suspension on it. Well, not really good suspension, but really good detail under there. It's absolute, it looks really realistic. Also, there's um on this bit, on the back, if you take these, push them forward, you can actually open the doors. They actually lock in place, which is what I love. Hang on. There we go. There. So these just lock. These just shut that. Sh these just like that and lock in place like that. Just like a real truck. So you push the little lever forward on each side. This one's always a bit trickier. Like that. Then on the other side to get to actually open it, you've got to put. On this side, there's a little door. You've got to put your hand right in and physically just push it open with your fingers. Which and it is actually incredibly detailed in there. It looks really, really realistic. It's got all the linings and stuff on the inside, which I love. But enough about the trailer. Let's get onto the truck while well, I've still got time. Makes a bundle trailer. Beep, beep, beep. Over there. Now, onto the truck itself. It comes in two parts. Comes with the actual truck and the roof. Now, to get the roof on, all you've got to do is make sure that the exhaust part, make sure that the tailpipes are in between and just drop it on. And make sure they're all lined up. It actually looks really, really realistic. Underneath, it has literally everything of a real truck. It's got the engine, or it's got the carburetor or, some, or something. I'm not an engine genius, please forgive me. Um, yeah, it's got the the head, the um mirror, the wing mirrors move around, and the, these are incredibly fragile. Mine are breaking, which is not good. Um, it has, if you take the roof off, got an incredibly nice interior. It's incredibly nice. And if you move this up like that, you've got a kind of you've got the bed revealed, just like that. Then you've got the seats which move around, which is what I like, movie seats. Then open the doors, and you've got the steering wheel, and the, and the wheels actually turn, not very well unless you go like that. But it's nice. I can live with it. Got a gear stick. It, literally everything is detailed and everything in there is felt. It is really, really nice. I love it. And the doors act, do open as well. Yep. They do open on both sides. Not very well, but they do open. Now the engine. What are we going to do? Just lift up the whole front piece. There it is. The This looks absolutely spectacular. I cannot think of anything else which would look better. It it has got absolutely every freaking detail that you need in there. It is fantastic. It really this really gets me. I love it. It's got shining chrome tailpipes. I love it. It's so detailed. It's absolutely bloody fantastic. I love it. And uh, yep, it's really really detailed. Really. Literally the masters, in my opinion, of detail. Right now, I expect you're all probably wondering where, how do you get the trailer on? Well, what you got to do? Get the trailer, which always helps. Which I have here. Let's move that back up so you can see what I'm doing. First of all, shut the doors. That always helps. Shut the doors and locking them in place. Then what you want to do? Take these little pieces. And move them to in between the silver bit, like that. No, it doesn't really work for me very well, but I, at least I try. Make sure that this little sharp tab here fits on, fits in there, and it should do. 
There we go. So that's fitted itself snugly in there, which is what I like. Fits snugly in. Then take the metal tab, which is already on the truck. Oh bollocks! And you, you work for me every other time. Come on, don't be difficult. Work for me today, please. That's all I'm asking. Don't cock up. Right, you're right. You're right. We're around the first time. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I haven't put you in for ages. Just there you go. Then take the oh, box and just slide that in like that. And I'll fix you in a minute. I swear. Just let me get you all untangled. That helps. There we go. Always helps getting your truck untangled. Put just. Put you back in. Grr. Go in, you infernal piece of plastic. Everything on this, apart from the little wire connect holder thing, is metal. Everything, everything but that. There we go. There you got the Peterbilt. Let's move that back so you can get a full view of it. Now, this looks incredible. For God's sake, I know you don't like me, Dor, but seriously, shut. This looks absolutely phenomenal. It rolls like a dream. It is just brilliant. I love it. For God's sake. There we go. For God's sake, stay shut. This looks possibly like the greatest thing of all time, I love it. So, all I'm saying to Franklin Mint, thank you so much for creating such a masterpiece. It looks just spectacular. Right, it's been Tyrus 93's first um, video on Franklin Mint signing off. The second you will see shortly. Thanks for watching.